Hey, what's up everyone? DJ Zeus with another video. Been kind of hesitating on getting this one out. But uh, about two weeks ago, I bought this watch. It's our Armani Exchange AX1039, I believe. I got this from work with my discount. So, couldn't really pass it up. As you can see, it comes in a cool plastic case. Solid on the bottom, see-through or clear on the top. Nice plastic. As you can see, it's pretty thick, but if you were to drop it on something hard, like cement or granite, then it'll definitely shatter or, or probably not shatter, but at least crack. So anyways, enough about the case. Well, just to go a little bit more into detail, you get like a cardboard type fill on the inside, along with the cardboard type of um, that watch extender thingamajiggy, whatever you want to call it, and then some rubber on the inside. But anyways, here's a watch. Our money exchange, got some nice branding in there, the AX on the top. It's got a grayish, almost carbon fiber look on the inside with uh, chrome accents. As you can see right here, we have the small hour arm, the minute arm, and the second in here we have the stopwatch feature as you um, start, stop, and then reset. And I think it's going, yeah, I just stopped it. I'll reset it and you can see it go back. Well, that's weird. I thought it would just at least go up to the 60 mark, but apparently <laughs> it goes all the way back to the very beginning. So. This had been going on for a couple of minutes now, and now it's finally back at, at zero. But um, we'll go ahead and start this, and then just as the ending of the video comes, I'll stop, and then you can reset so you can see what it looks like again. So I'll start it, and then the little second hand starts moving. So anyways, that's the feature, start, stop, reset. Right here to set it, you just pull it out once, the first little notch will allow you to adjust the date. As you can see, you can see all the days in here. Well, not all of them, but a good number. You can see some over here, some over here. But um, they're kind of like fogged out by the, the plastic or glass backing that's in there. And then the one that stands out, obviously, is the cutout. So it's the 10th, September 10th. Um doesn't have a light in there so it kind of sucks trying to see what time it is at night but I'm not too sure if these glow I don't remember but it does make it a little bit easier if, as long as you have a little bit of light they'll um, kind of illuminate a little bit better with um, surrounding light so you can see what time it is as you can see if you look at it right here it's kind of like a gunmetal color it's got the nice Armani Exchange AX on the side on the side of the bezel right here is a um, just a silver color right here just like a matte silver or aluminum look uh, around the the bezel itself you got that chrome really nice shiny the um, you got the glass on there right here it's kind of a brushed um, silver look to it on the sides and in the, in the middle followed by uh, two chrome lines that are on the inside and then on the outside of the of the actual wrist part it's all shiny um, chrome and then right here on the clasp you can see our money exchange and just like my last watch it does have some scratches on it and I've come to the conclusion that I sh probably shouldn't wear watches like this to work because when I'm typing on the keyboard, my hand's going up and down, you know, typing, and then it's just scraping up against the desk at work. So probably going to stick to like rubber uh, band or leather band type, um, uh, what do you call it? I guess bands. So let's go ahead and pop this off with here. As you can see on the back, it says Armani Exchange, the AX, and it's the AX1039. Uh, 
solid stainless steel, five ATM, so it is water resistant up to that much, whatever that it's is, uh, whatever, whatever that is um, equivalent to. To be honest, I don't know, otherwise I would tell you, but you can Google it, and I'm pretty sure you can find out what it is. And then next to it, it says T514, uh, zero four. So I don't know if that's a serial number or if that's just part of the model number. I don't know. Um, I already have a size to me to fit me. Took off two of the little sections there, and then just to show you the price here, you get this at Nordstrom Rack for ninety four ninety seven plus tax. If you go to the um, full line Nordstrom stores, you can get it for $200. So whenever Nordstrom Rack gets these in, you definitely want to jump on them because you're saving over $100 um, just, you know, shopping at the rack. And they're not used, they're not refurbished or anything like that. It's just rack prices are cheaper. They get a, 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 a better discount when it comes to wholesaling their items and stuff like that. So... Um, so there you have it, ninety-four, ninety-seven, or two hundred, regular retail at the full line Nordstrom stores. So good watch, I love it. Um, it's been keeping up pretty well. I mean, I've only had it two weeks, but if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section. If you like this video, hit like or subscribe. I got some more videos coming through, and let me go ahead and stop this. So you can see the uh, minutes right here. And I want to say this is the hour. It's got to be because this one's moving faster than this one. So you have seconds, minutes, hours. And I'll reset. And I'll just rewind all the way back to zero. It's kind of weird because my diesel watch, this just goes up to zero and then everything goes up to zero rather than um, spinning back as many times as it did forward before you reset it so anyways good watch under a hundred dollars can't beat that price so till next time see you guys later peace